All right, D'Amico, since you were announced, this fan base has been energized. A lot of this city has been energized. The fans don't have your phone number, though. <laughs> your former teammates do. Can you tell us about maybe how many text messages you've gotten and where you are in responding to all the messages? I can't tell you the amount of messages. I didn't think my phone could hold that many messages, but it's, it's close to over 600 messages. Uh, but I'm, I'm thankful for all the support, especially all my, my former teammates and a lot of people around the city um, of Houston that have just reached out. And it's just, uh, man, it's an unbelievable amount of support. And I can't be thankful enough for all the fans here in Houston for the excitement. And hey, I'm just excited as, as everyone is, right? But I'm excited to get to work and uh, produce a winner. So many times we've heard that you were destined to be a coach. I want to go back to where that destiny started. Take us back to Alabama, your mom, Miss Martha, working three jobs, the sacrifices. You were a baseball guy. What were the dreams like back then, and where does D'Amico Ryan's, an NFL head coach, stack up in those <laughs> dreams? Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was tough. But my, just seeing my mom, the way she worked, and I just I knew whatever I put my mind to, that I could accomplish it, just seeing it's gonna take work, it's gonna take effort. And that's what she taught me, and that's what's carried me to where I am now. Uh, Alabama, it was some rough moments, but I knew my goal was to make sure I was able to support my mother. So that pushed me, that drove me every single day that I knew what I was working for, and it was just a blessing to be able to accomplish that. On our air, we had Kevin Cooper, your former PR guy yeah. here at the Texans. He said, you hang your hat on two things. <laughs> a man of God and a man of the South. Hmm. D'Amico, you're the first black man from Alabama to ever be an NFL head coach. Hmm. How does that resonate? Wow. Humbling, right, very humbling. Uh, just to be a head coach, as I know it's a lot of people who coached me along the way, right? A lot of guys who are coaches that were father figures that supported me. And that's just, those guys, you know, they instill some things in me that man, you can reach back and help so many young men. And from my coaches from Little League through middle school, they've instilled so much in me. And now I look, I look now and I'm who they were, yep. right? And still trying to do the same thing. So I'm just thankful for all my former coaches from Little League all the way through who have helped me and instilled the proper values in me to now allow me to be like them. He got to Alabama after your All-American career, but Nick Saban once told me, the secret to a happy life for a coach, a good wife, a good dog, and a good quarterback. <laughs> we know Jamil's a rock star. Do you have a dog? No, no dog. <laughs> you, know where my you know where my next question's going. What do you see in the qualities you're looking for for a quarterback? We're not gonna name names, it's too early, but what do you want out of your franchise quarterback? The first thing is just a, it's an undeniable passion for the game of football, right? A quarterback has to be the, the hardest worker on our team. He has to be respected in our locker room for the men that he's going to lead, right? And he has to go out and make sure he protects the ball, puts us in really favorable positions to win games. My final question right. for you. General Manager Nick Casario will not use the word rebuild. <laughs> but, D'Amico, you're the third head coach in three years here. What can you say about your time frame for success here, and maybe how that aligns with this franchise and also this fan base. Yeah, me and Nick, I mean, we haven't, we haven't ceased to communicate. Every day we're on the call, we're talking every day, right? And we're looking to build this team the proper way with the right people. And Nick is an outstanding talent evaluator, and I'm so excited. That's one thing that drew me to this job, to be able to work with an experienced guy like Nick who is so knowledgeable about finding the right players, and not only the right players, the right people to work with. So I'm, it, it fires me up to be able to work with Nick. And I know our vision, it's aligned with how we want our team to look, and I, I can't wait to get started. Texans fans, he said he's ready to win, and he's going to win.